morning. I haven't seen some of you for a few weeks. There we go. Now I'm on. Now you can hear me. I thought it was me. You know what I was going to tell you this morning? I was thinking about my whole family. So I have seven grandsons. I've got, I, it's true. It's a lot. Um, and we have people that live in all kinds of different places. In my family, I have tall people and short people. I have people with really light white skin and people with really dark skin. We have a little bit chubby and a little bit skinny. We have all kinds of people. And you know what else we have in my family? We have some people that like to be quiet and by themselves. And we have other people who like to have a lot of people around and a lot going on right? And be, loud. and be loud. Yes, and exactly. Maybe in your family you have something like that too. Um, so that made me think about this book I have that is a book that comes from words from the, uh, the Psalms, which are kind of like poems in the Bible, prayers in the Bible. But they reminded me that everybody even if you like big crowds or even if you like to be alone, sometimes you feel lonely. I feel lonely sometimes. You know, you feel like, well, I don't know if anybody cares or if anybody's listening. And this is a story that comes from the Psalms. It's like a, how, how the Bible, they, um, how in my book, yeah? Do you, how many books do I have? Mm, I'll count them. A lot. I just counted them in my head. I do have a lot. Um, at least, at least a thousand. I'll count them one day at my home in my office, and I'll come back and tell you. So this is this. This is these are words that come from the Bible, but the pictures in the story is uh, pretend. So it's this little girl in the story says, "Do you know what I saw today, God? A deer, a real live deer, drinking at a stream of water. She sure looked thirsty." I think she wanted a drink of water more than anything else in the world. And do you know what that reminded me of, God? The water reminded me of you. And you know why? Because, God, sometimes I get lonely. And lonely is an empty feeling. It's like being thirsty. Sometimes I get lonely, and I need to know that you're there. Hold on. I get lonely when I fight with my friend and we're mad at each other. And I'm afraid she'll find another best friend. I get lonely when we go visiting and they're only grown-ups. And grown-ups are talking and talking, but sometimes nobody talks to me. And sometimes I even get lonely when there are kids around. Like the time we went on a field trip to the museum, my partner got sick and I had no one to sit with. That happens sometimes. But when I get lonely, you know what? I say to myself, hey, why are you so sad? God still loves you. You can still talk to God. Why are the pictures still in pencil? I don't know. I like that. Some are just pencil and some are colors. You're my friend, God, only you're a different kind of friend. You're not like someone who can climb on the other side of the teeter-totter or twirl on the other of a jump rope or draw hop stop squares on the sidewalk. You're a special kind of friend. Even though I can't see you, I know you're there with me on the playground and at my house and in my classroom and everywhere I go. Sometimes, God, I even think I hear you calling to me, but not like my friend who calls me from across the street. It's not that I hear your voice with my ears. I hear your voice inside my head and in my heart. And then I feel your love all over me, like a waterfall splashing over the rocks. I feel your love in the daytime, and I feel your love at the nighttime. So those times when I get lonely, you know what? I say to myself, hey, why are you so sad? God still loves you. You can always talk to God. And then I know you're there for me, like a stream of water for a thirsty deer. So it says, no matter what, no matter how we're feeling, we can always talk to God. Isn't that such a good thing? So let's have a prayer, and then you are going out to children's church. And then going to Sunday school. Super. All right, let us pray. God, uh, thank you that you always hear us and that you're always with us. 
Thank you for friends and family, for the church. Thank you for Children's Church and for Miss Cindy and all the volunteers. Thank you for Sunday school and all the ways that you uh, teach us about loving one another like Jesus did. Uh, so be with us today in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And off